Sorry, the lighting's kind of bad, but you're going to want to soak like the lace that has the glue on it in rubbing alcohol. This is only 50% and it'll... And after the wig is soaked, you're going to see that this is going to like start to just break down. And that means that the glue is like ready to come off. And you can either like pick it off like with your hands or you can use some type of brush or even just like a little washcloth and literally just like scrub it off. That's what I'm going to do. It's really hard for me to show it to you. But I'll show it to you when it's clean. You're just going to want to get all that glue off before we dye the Here's another little video. I just wanted to show you guys how the glue's coming off. Okay, so now I have my wig in my sink. I'm going to go ahead and just wash it because I have all that alcohol in it. You can see where the hair is still wet from it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So if you guys can hear my show in the back and my voice is kind of scratchy but i wanted to show you guys the new lashes that i just got for my business i don't know if you guys follow like um ariana fletcher but the real kyle sister she did a makeup look with some lashes that are like these so i was so happy that i ordered these they took like a month to get here but i really love them this is just some samples of a few to see if i want to keep them in the store i have like <clears throat> the blue iridescent butterflies and the pinky like purpley ones they're so cute i'm so excited for these and i feel like i waited so long for them but they were so worth it they're so beautiful these ones over here are a little more like stiff i feel but i get why because they have to hold that big old like heavy diamond well not diamond but um like crystal so i'm so happy for these they'll be up in the store if you guys are interested in lashes i know everyone sells lashes now but i think if you're looking to start a business and you need something that the startup cost is really cheap this is the way to go and like i will never knock another woman for starting a business and i think even if you're selling the same thing as somebody else there's always room for it because there's a million brands who sell things you just have to like make it your own and yeah so i just wanted to show you guys these so freaking beautiful i love them so much all right hey guys i'm gonna show you guys a video of me waxing my eyebrows yes my wax is in a paper plate i'm gonna heat it up and melt it in the microwave because my wax like warmer is at my other house and i'm at my mom's but i just got in the mood to do my eyebrows so yeah stay tuned to watch <laughs> okay, this is what the wax looks melted such a pretty color obviously it's too hot to put on my eyebrow right now so I'm gonna let it cool a little bit and then I'll show you guys the process if I can. I don't have my tripod, but I will try. So this is a little tiny piece I'm gonna wax off right now and then I'll wax a little bit more off I'm as we go. I'm show you guys the hairs. Like, look at that. That is so crazy. Yeah, but I'll show you guys the finished product when I do my makeup, but look at that. Crazy. They look so good. Everything. Hit me up for waxes. Just yeah. kidding. Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I got from Target um, and Dollar General. This is a rug for my bathroom. It's memory foam and gray. It's super cute. I love it so much. I also got this maple glaze donut candle. If you guys follow Kyra, she was the one who recommended this. And I also got this one. Cashmere birch. They both smell so good. I love them. And then I got this little Conair waiver like double barrel waiver from dollar general actually for twenty dollars 
So I'm gonna try it and I'll show you guys a video of it. Like that pink wig that I showed you guys earlier in this video. I know you guys saw me straighten it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what I got at the thrift store today. I got this super cute like jean skirt and this little pink and red top long sleeve. I think this is so cute for like Valentine's Day. So we're gonna make a little butter, basil, oregano, garlic sauce to put on our base of our pizza. This is all the stuff you're gonna need. Pizza? I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> but this is the stuff you're gonna need. Um, yeah, you're gonna wanna melt the butter and I'll show you guys me putting it all together in the bowl. Butter, I'm adding the garlic to it. We're gonna add some basil. Oregano. And then you're going to want to mix this all up, marinate all together, and I'll show you guys what to do with it. Oh! This is bad. I'm trying to do everything one handed, which is so hard. So, this is my pizza dough. I had to hold the edges over because it was square. <laughs> but that little butter sauce that I made earlier, I'm just going to put that on here start rubbing it around and this is gonna just add some flavor to the crust these little store-bought crusts they're just not that good I'm gonna be honest with you and if you're making a healthy pizza <laughs> not the way to go but if you want a yummy pizza for sure the way to go and it just keeps the dough nice and soft and yummy we went ahead and put some dollops of sauce on there and we're gonna just Blend that all around. I'm gonna keep blending that around, and then I'll show you guys the next. This is the pizza all finished with the pepperonis, some fresh mats. I love, and I'm gonna top it off with a little basil sprinkled on top. Pop this in the oven, and I'll let you guys see it when it's done and ready to eat. <laughs> 